Hi guys, I'm April. Welcome to my apartment. Super excited for the project we're gonna make today. It's an over the stove spice shelf. Coming from a big farmhouse kitchen, which is probably the size of my current apartment, you could have two to three people cooking at one time, four or five pots on, prepping at one island. There's so much room to a tiny apartment kitchen that barely fits myself. This shelf is going to basically save the day, giving me access to all of my spices and making my life just so much easier. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is hit up your local Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever you can buy wood, and get a one by four by 10 and a one by two by eight. Make sure you measure your stove first so you get the right measurements because your stove might be different than my stove. Now back home, I could take this whole board back to the farm. Dad's shop had every power tool imaginable and so we could measure and cut it right there. Here in LA, it's not quite the same. I don't really have a shop. I barely have a place to park my car. So if you ask the people at Home Depot, they should cut the wood for you to your requested lengths. There might be a small fee, Mine didn't charge, so just make sure you ask. You want to cut the one by four into four 11 and a half inch pieces. These are going to form the sides of your shelf. And then you're going to cut two one by four by 34 inches to be the top of your shelf. And then the one by two, you want to cut two 11 and a half inch pieces and two 34 inch pieces. We're gonna take some wood glue and just do a thin layer across the whole thing. And you don't wanna like gob it on, you don't want it to be too thick. You wanna use wood glue because it'll help keep things from warping and getting all funky since it's going to be on your stove by heat and moisture and whatever in the house you're cooking. And then just set this right on top and kind of square it up. And then we're gonna take clamps. I'll put a clamp on the other side. All right, so now that these have been clamped for about two hours, I'm gonna go ahead and take the clamps off. Take the clamps off. Now the glue isn't going to be 100% dry yet. It's you know, recommended 24 hours. Hi, yes, I see you over here. Um, but since it's been about two hours, it's still pretty solid. Now we're gonna take one of our one by fours. I'm gonna use use it as a balance, and we're going to just nail it in on one side with little finishing nails. Now we're gonna put the second one by four right on top. Square it all up and nail it down. Mr. T, excuse me. I'm sorry I'm in your way. So now we're gonna take one of our one by twos and you're gonna put it on the front here to give it a nice clean edge. Make sure it's squared up. And then the two uh, one by twos that are shorter, you're gonna put one on each side, square everything up. We're gonna nail this down. And now we're gonna nail this one by two right on the back so you have clearance for your backsplash so it still sits flush with the wall. And here we have the final product. I'm going to stain it, but you can paint it, stain it, leave it natural, whatever you choose. Everything to make this will be listed in the description below. Follow me on Instagram to see the final product. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the little bell so you get notified when I have new content like this coming out. Thanks for watching. Bye!